Hello everyone, I'm Rahul and today I'm going to talk about a very simple method that will help you in understanding and overcoming any sort of psychological trauma. You know the root meaning of the word trauma is wound. And the truth is that most of us are carrying some sort of a psychological wound from the past, some sort of a scar that has not healed yet. And the more we try to forget these painful memories from the past, the more difficult it becomes for us, the more we are haunted by these memories. So there must be a reason why these psychological wounds from the past have not healed yet. So let's try to understand the healing process. And in that very understanding, we will get to know how to overcome this psychological trauma. When it comes to healing process, there is not much difference between a physical wound and a psychological wound. If the physical wound is not very deep, then healing will happen on its own accord. The body has the intelligence, in time the wound will heal. But if the wound is really really deep, then perhaps a surgery is needed. Then perhaps you need to clean up the wound, you need to stitch it up and then you have to make sure that you give it ample rest so that it can heal in time. In the same way, if the psychological wound is not really deep, then it will heal on its own accord. Sooner or later you are bound to forget everything about it. But if the psychological wound is really really deep, then perhaps you need to do the surgery. You need to clean up the wound. You need to stitch it up. And then you have to make sure that you give it ample rest so that it can heal in time. So I will keep it very simple for you. When it comes to psychological trauma healing, it is a two-step process. The first is surgery and the second is rest for healing. Now, by psychological surgery, I simply mean that you have not processed the unpleasant emotions that are related to the traumatic event from the past and you have not accepted that event till now. So processing your emotions is like cleaning up the wound and accepting the event, the traumatic event is like stitching up the wound. So surgery is also a two-step process. First you have to process your emotions and then you have to accept the traumatic event as something that happened in the past, something which is over now. Now I'll give you a very simple example so that you have a better understanding about it. Let's say that there is someone who has lost his mother to a painful disease and two three years have passed and till this day this person is haunted by the memories of his mother. He's tremendously sad, he's tremendously angry, he's tremendously helpless. So the reason why he has these feelings up until now is because he has not processed these unpleasant emotions yet. And the problem is that we live in a society where everyone just tells us to deal with every problem. Even if the problem is emotional, we try to deal with it with reason and logic. And the, the thing is that your emotional brain does not understand the language of logic and reason. Your emotional brain is like a child. So the moment this person would face something painful like this, immediately in that moment, he would suppress his emotions because everyone around him will just tell that you have lost your mother. It's a painful thing, but it happens with everyone. Just accept it. Be strong. Move on. You are a mature person. Everyone just forces you to suppress this inner child of yours, which is your emotional brain. Now, till the time these suppressed emotions, the bottled up emotions are not going to come out, they will haunt you. So first of all, you have to make sure that you process all kinds of unpleasant emotions related to the traumatic event of the past. It could be the reason why these emotions are still haunting you. So how are you going to do it? You just need to revisit the traumatic event from the past in your imagination. In this hypothetical situation, let's say that this person should try to imagine his mother on the deathbed and he should picture it as vividly as he can. And then he has to make sure that he feels all the emotions that are welling up in him. He should not resist these emotions. So if there is some deep sadness, he should cry and he should cry wholeheartedly like a small child. If there is some anger or rage and anger and rage could be because of a lot of reason. Maybe nobody was there in your family to take care of your mother. Maybe you are angry with yourself because you think that you 
did not spend much time with your mother you did not give her much attention maybe you can be angry with the whole existence that it has been very unfair to you as well as your mother just feel the emotions authentically and different people can have different range of emotions in a similar situation because we all have a different story a different biography a different background so your job is to feel all kinds of unconscious emotions unpleasant emotions that are welling up in that moment and to feel them wholeheartedly after an initial outburst of these unpleasant emotions you will feel a little relieved and then you have to talk to yourself then you have to use your rational brain now you have to soothe yourself so this is the second part of the surgery accepting the traumatic event without any resistance just talk to yourself just say to yourself that my mother has passed away and it is something that has happened in the past and i accept it wholeheartedly as a part of life i don't resist it and i trust the process of life i think that good things lie ahead of me i do not have the wisdom to understand each and every thing in life but i trust life the moment you are going to use such positive affirmations of acceptance you will feel further relieved and be creative here create your own affirmations whatever soothes you whatever makes you accept the traumatic event in the best possible way use it now this is a practice that you need to do after every second or third day why because if there is some deep rooted unpleasantness in you then it will take some time to come out it will not be something that you can deal with in just one session so after two or three days when you are going to do it again you will find that this time the intensity of the emotions is going to be much less and this is the relief that you are going to feel further and further more in every session and the day you will reach a stage where you will feel that now there is no more sadness now there is no more anger in me i'm just acting angry i'm just acting sad the authenticity of the emotion is not there anymore that day just understand this thing that the psychological surgery has been done now you need to move on to the second step which is healing now when it comes to healing a physical wound you have to make sure that you do not prick the wound again you do not injure it you have to give it ample rest so that it can heal in time in the same way when it comes to healing a psychological wound you have to make sure that you do not prick these traumatic memories of the past you do not invest your energy and time in these traumatic memories of the past because memory is not in the field of your conscious mind and anything of the five senses can trigger these memories and again it has the potential to suck us up into a downward spiral something as trivial as a fragrance a sound a smell can trigger these memories maybe you are watching a movie and suddenly you are reminded that your mother used to love this movie now there will be a chain reaction this first memory will trigger all kinds of painful memories maybe there is a change in the weather it's raining and suddenly you are reminded of a time when you were walking with your mother on the street and it was raining so there is always a danger of being sucked into these painful memories but only if we lack awareness in our life if we live with awareness in the present moment we know whatever is happening in our mind there is an awareness in the background then these things cannot haunt us then we can simply talk to ourselves that this is a glitch in the system a glitch in our brain just watch these memories without any judgment without any fear in the moment when this film is running in your head and it will disappear just like a cloud disappears in the sky it comes and passes away it comes and passes away the more you're going to talk like this the more you will desensitize yourself of these painful memories and they are not going to haunt you anymore so i hope that i have given you a very simple method to deal with the traumas in your life and i think that you're going to use it very deliberately and i wish you all the best for that